I didn't want to go to a hospital and have needles and didn't want to have to follow along with what the doctor said to lay down. I wanted to be comfortable and just didn't want to to be in a hospital situation. That was more scary to me than having a home birth. I started out with the doctor because I didn't even know I could have a baby at home in this state. I wasn't aware until I met Lori and started talking to her. So I started with the doctor and my visits were very short and very perfunctory. They just um, went through and asked me some questions and it was over. And with Lori, I would go and talk, and she'd ask me questions about my stress level. She'd ask me about what I was eating, just cover my whole lifestyle. And it just made me feel really good to know that she could guide me in all aspects and not just how much weight I'd gained and how, um, how big around or what my blood pressure was, that sort of thing. It was, it was more than just numbers. It was nice to be in my own home because when the birth is over, you just crawl into your own bed. There's no recovery. You just, you're done. You're already home. You don't have to get your things together. You don't have to go through your bag. And you don't have nurses coming in and out to check. I haven't been to a hospital for a birth, but those are things that people have mentioned. And it's nice just to lay in my bed and relax. Lori does so much preventative work with you that I felt like with all we had done, my diet, my exercise, the things that she had checked beforehand, I really felt good and in shape, ready for the birth. And I'd asked her questions about different emergency things that could come up, and she always had an answer. She seemed to know just what to do. So, no, there wasn't a real fear of that. If someone comes to you wanting to know, um, I just share with them my experience of how wonderful it went. And... I really didn't need a hospital. There was nothing that happened. And so I, I would encourage them to think about the benefits of having the baby at home, making decisions about the way they want the baby to be born, um, and the drugs and the methods they want to use and the freedom to move around. It's just a lot more comfortable. I just had such great experiences. I would share with them my two births and how wonderful it went and and what good health my children are in and I was in throughout the pregnancy. I seen a video when I was very young. I don't even think I was in high school yet. And uh, there were women and they were at this water birth and you know they were all very supportive for the one that was you know, having her baby. And I thought that is the coolest thing ever. Not knowing what I was getting myself into, just thinking whenever I find someone who I'm gonna spend my life with and we decide to have babies, I wanna do that. You hear horror stories anyway about the hospitals, like, ah, scary. So, uh, as I started researching it more, I found out I was pregnant, you know, fast forward, and I'm researching it more, and I would read horrible negative things about these babies that were just totally doped up and drugged up when they were born, and they're not really, they're kind of groggy. I phrased that horribly, sorry. They were groggy, and, and I thought, that's sad. I, you know, and the connection for the first little bit when you're born with your baby, you can never get that back. That's, that's it, it's done deal. And, you know, for the baby to come out and the first thing it sees is all blurry and fuzzy and like, oh, you know, like all hung over, I thought that's horrible, that's sad. And I wanted to start off on the right foot. And so I definitely wanted to. And it was something I will always, always cherish. I can't ever put words for it. I got here at eight something and I paced for a little while, and I didn't want to get in the water the whole time, and then got like, typically you're a centimeter per hour, as the progression. And I thought, if I'm gonna be here all night, I don't wanna, I don't wanna milk it, you know, like all, all night in the water, and then I didn't get the full effect, so I wanted to hold off. And by the time I got in, I was about five centimeters, and about an hour and change, like all, under two hours, I was at, I think 10, I was full and ready to go. And it was because of the water, it was, relaxing. I was in a daze between contractions, just mellow. I was in my zone. It was pretty cool. I didn't expect it to be that that way, but it was worth it. The best thing you can do if you're on the fence, the best thing anybody could do in any situation is just educate yourself and read. You don't know if it's for you until you know the whole what you're getting into. If you want to do this and you think it's going to be fun and candy and there'll be bubbles in the tub, then you're mistaken. 
it's not going to be, you know, just like another day in the park. You're going to do your work and you're going to get a great reward for it. But it's just such a much more rewarding experience. There's a book that I, I she gave me books my you know the whole time I was coming and and a DVD I borrowed from her and and I would read these things and if it wasn't because of these like I would not have taken it so well. I was prepared. I knew what was coming next. I knew because this happened now this is going to happen to me. And there are changes that happen even in the brain that affect everything else and and things are going to make things easier and it's a chain of events. And if you're not aware of this you might be afraid or timid or unsure and just knowing, just educating yourself makes all the difference. My name is Shauna and I had this one in the hospital and it was horrible. <laughs> and I said I'll never have another kid if I have to do that again. So when I found out that I was having another kid, <laughs> I went on an internet search and found Lori. Better care for one thing and more care for another thing just all the way through the time that she spends and the care that she takes in talking about your diet and your feelings and your fears and all those things that doctors just don't spend any time on. And then, well, I was so relaxed that it was really fast by the time I got here, so I guess it was just comfortable. <laughs> Beautiful, relaxing, comfortable, not sterile like a hospital, not intimidating. The birth center is a complete experience instead of just your baby getting there. It's it's really uh, family oriented and it's beautiful instead yeah. of just something to get done and to get on with having a kid. Peaceful, relaxed, beautiful, it just everything you ever would want a birth to be but never thought it could.